Let me tell you about an epic trip that I just came from. A place where cool sh is around every corner. Psst. Goodbye, little monkey. I'll see you in four days. Okay, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> a place where it's just fun. Let's go. I'm talking about money. Fucking New York City. <laughs> the flight getting there was interesting. I was hearing noises from the plane, like the bottom of the tire, making clunky noises. My mind was racing. What I could say, what would happen? I thought the wheels would fall off. The, the roof started smoking and. Like over the intercom, the freaking the pilot started hyperventilating. <laughs> Snakes and shit started falling from the ceiling. <laughs> so it was sketch. I met up with a cuss cuss, Chef Jeff, aka Jeffrey, um, aka Schlong. I miss my mom. <laughs> Took the bus out there and headed straight to the city. Yay! The next thing you know, we're there. Surprisingly, New York City was pretty freaking clean as far as their uh, trash system goes. There it is, there it is. <laughs> trash bags everywhere. You know, I, I, I with it. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. <laughs> Transit system was a little bit brazy, but you know, we got, we got the hang of it. <laughs> Eventually. We stayed at a hostel. Very interesting. Get to meet a whole bunch of different folks from all over the world. It was super cheap. Do it. It's great. Get to chill for the first night. Up to a few people uh, from different countries and stuff. Next day, went on a freaking moto run to Central Park. Are you ready for this fucking motivation? Are you ready for this motivation? <laughs> it was actually pretty cool uh, running through. On the way, we got to see a lot of cool sights. <laughs> It was a cool little run, get a little bit of exercise, you know what I'm saying? Eat, eat cool little easy jog, nothing too serious. <sighs> it is stupid. <laughs> and you know, we had a little competition, you know what I'm saying? We gotta, we gotta prove, you know, you know, it was a big schlong schlong, you know what I'm saying? Today is when we separate the boys from the men. <laughs> We're gonna have us a little race. Oh, little I'm over there, right here. We had sex in our mouths, AKA had bodegas. Bodegas are super sexy sandwiches. In my experience, um, the sketchier the deli shop is, the better. Uh, because we went to a few and we only went to one that was that just captured our hearts and I will remember that place for the rest of my life. Straight from the motherfucking deli of New York City. Uh. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, 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 we went to see my boss's old HQ. And the Starbucks is so armed. Oh, that's why. Papu? We went to a rather interesting museum. Um, and uh, uh, in an experience, some of their rather interesting, like, uh, attractions. The time for extravagance and transgression. Uh -huh. Oh, 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> also, like, there's this cool little area at the very end of, like, uh, it's called Playland, where it's like an arcade place, and, you know, has another little competition, you know what I'm saying? See who could get the high score. Ah, uh, no, I gotta regret it. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm not saying who won, but, you know. Oh. <laughs> and you know me, I'm very competitive and there was no way in hell I was gonna let Jeff win. So you know what I'm saying? I had I had to do what what I had to do, you know what I'm saying, in order to win. Not my proudest moments in life, but you know. It. Is it vibrating? <laughs> What? <laughs> um, um, to King Kong's famous river pole. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Come on. Pretty cool to see, like, pretty much the city from from all the way up the, the highest point of the city. Got cultured in the world of cigars. Uh, didn't have appreciation before for them, but now I kind of do. Went to Times Square, duh. Broadway, I don't know, Broadway, like to me, prior to actually going to a show, it's not kind of like feminine, or kind of like whoop. We'll see, whatever, but they're not, dude. They're pretty sick. Like, I recommend going to watch Field just if you can. Um, it was literally like a titty. Let, let, let's just say that. We saw a cool little street performance. Be very careful. Like, I, I knew that there were like ripoffs out there, but these guys are freaking professionals out there. I, I was very like cautious and I made sure that they're not gonna rip my ass. They got my ass. So be very careful when you go out there. Uh, also, while we were there, we also walked across the Brooklyn Bridge. Stay there for a bit, you know, you know what I'm saying? Took some cool pictures and we stayed there long enough to see some stuff at night. We also got a chance to stop by Wall Street. It was very interesting to go there because I'm like, wow, this is all where all my money goes. Went to the 9-11 Memorial. It was a little bit of a different vibe going. Pay respects, you know, get a different perspective and actually see how it happened, you know? Oh, we also saw the bull. We, we didn't really want to waste an hour just to take a picture with it. It wasn't really worth it, so we ended up just dipping. But it was pretty funny to see people funnel the bull's balls. Go to this freaking place, The Cauldron. It's kind, of, it's kind of like in Wall Street District. It is sick. Uh, we went there during the day, uh, but where the real magic happens at night. That's when it's freaking cool. If you're definitely Harry Potter fans, go there. It will freaking blow your mind. <laughs> it's, it's it's cool, you won't regret it. It's a little bit expensive, but it's worth it. Uh, I think it was like hundred bucks for just two people. Um It was hilarious. <laughs> It was it was definitely some good times. Now, the important thing about revenge is that it leads, it comes with passion. Sometimes this passion gets really heated, it gets a lot of energy, and then it just ignites. You all take a pinch of Phoenix Ashes, and then you hold close the thoughts of that person that you wish to get your revenge upon, and then you... Take this, Mom! <laughs> oh, wait, it's gotta be on fire. <laughs> <laughs> also, while we were there, we know we had the dance you know what I'm saying, cut, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? The electric slide, uh, we didn't do that. Uh, we also took a little boat ride to uh, across the uh, Manhattan River or whatever, and we saw some statue or something. Yeah, it was cool. Oh, and also Spider-Man saved us. He was cute. We went to this one spot called Ninja New York. One of my homies recommended this from work. Uh, like, I was sketchy at first, like, hey, is it gonna be really that cool? But it was pretty freaking cool. Go there, we got lucky. <laughs> we didn't even make reservations like that, we just went and they took us in and yeah, we went underground. I'm not gonna really ruin it because it, it's kind of low key, but it was, it was sick. Um, go there, it's fun.
pretty much the last thing that we did before we left New York was uh, we went to this little cafe called Cafe What? And we saw a live uh, performance pretty much by like, a band. I think it, it, it always all the time, but point is that they did like cover songs or whatever. Uh, definitely a cool environment, cool, uh, cool people. All right, price drinks and it was nice, it was chill. And finally we had the New York's finest pizza out of the three spots that we went. For some reason, people can't out there can't, they're very like, reserved about their opinion of New York's pizza because we were trying to find it but most spots were meh but like this last spot that we went to right before we left was eh. it was cool or probably because we were drunk I don't know oh, okay. yeah, you know what I'm saying and then right as we were leaving we actually saw Master Splinter um we ha we haven't seen him the whole time we were in New York but right before we left well luck you know there is Master Splinter Come back! <laughs> no! Teach me a way! <laughs> oh, why does everyone leave me? Like mom and daddy. And then finally, a few hours passed by after we went to the cafe and got some pizza and saw Master Splinter that it was finally time to leave. It was finally time to catch that plane leave. Oh, I also missed my flight. Yeah, that was pretty awkward. And I also was delayed. It pushed me back like around like three, five hours. Yeah, I had to work the same day, so. So yeah, that was my trip to New York City. It was lit, loved it every moment of it. It was great, every day was an adventure. Um, pocket was a little light after it, but you know, it's worth it. Pretty cool for three days. Um, so yeah, like, share, subscribe. We out here. Probably keeping Ollie up right now because I'm talking really loud and this is probably the only place that I can talk in the house at night because I work night shift. And uh, yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, we outie.